In this video, I am going to show you how to do the manual printhead cleaning of your Epson Workforce 2850 printer. So we are going to unclose the printhead and nozzles. So we will remove the printhead from the printer temporarily just to clean it and we will reuse it print like a new printer. Before we start the process, we have to unlock the printhead. For that switch on the printer and you will hear some sound like the print head is moving just unplug it and just check if your print head is unlocked or not so it is unlocked in case your print head is locked you can do a copy send a copy command and just unplug the power cable now the first step is to take the ink cartridges out so press the lock and take it out Remove all the four ink cartridges. Next step is to unlock this section. On the other side we have to unlock this section first. So press here and press this side and lift it up. So this plate will come off. Now we have access for the other plate. On this side we have to remove this top plate. So press it down and remove it from the lock. So once you apply a little bit pressure it will come off. That's the side plate. Now the next step is to remove one of the electrical wire that is just going for this plate. There is one wire that goes that side and that is here. So you have to unplug that. So that's this one on the second. And there is another going third small one. So don't touch the bottom one and the top one, just the middle one. Unplug it from here. Now we have to remove this plate. There is a lock behind this section. So you just have to press it once and yeah, so it is unlocked from this side. Press this lock from this side. You will see it will move up. Now carefully remove it. So there is a lock on the both sides, you have to take it off. Once we do that, there are three screws to remove. Remove these three screws. That's the print head. So press this and it will help you to take the print out. Press it and then lift it from here. That's our print head. Now you can unplug it. So we can clearly see the print head looks black and it has ink cloaked inside. So we have to clear the cloaked ink. Now clean the print head with the dry tissue paper. Just clean all the excess of the ink that is showing up here. To unclog it, you can just spray a couple of drops on the head here. And then clean it again. Clearly we can see the ink has started to unclog. You can also use the bed tissue. So I'm just going to spray some water on this tissue and then I'll clean with it. Rub it like this from one end to other. You will see all the inks are showing up there. Now keep cleaning it for few times so that the 
ink that is cloaked here just clears the path so just uncloak the ink from here so print head looks like new once you see all the inks are there that means your print head is clean now in case you want to replace the print head you can do now so if you have a new print head you can just install it or if you want to repair it you can still repair the print head once your print head is uncloaked now we are going to install it again so it should go like this so that is installed you can also clean the nozzles if you want and once everything is done place it back just let it go it will settle itself place those screws so two screws will go on the last end this will also secure the print head in its position properly next is to place that plate there is one of the chip that has to connect with it that's the one we removed before so it's easy if you plug that in first mm. so to extend it you have to remove some of the wires from here so you will see it has quite a long strip and now you have to place it in from the bottom section from this side so here it comes in it's quite a long piece now we have to connect with it so place it in here that is done So once you plug it in now we have to place it in the position but make sure you push it back side and later on we will take it out before you push it down now try to take it out from this side don't put a lot pressure but little bit gently take it out and now press it down and so it's completely now we can place this here so just fold it and push it inside in this You can also use a screwdriver to put it here. So that is done. Place this one nicely behind all of these. Now put this one here. There is one lock. Now this will hold all the wires. Next is to put this side cap. So the bottom part goes down first. Now hold it in its position. So this is locked and placed inside. Next is to place this one. So place it here. Next step is to install the ink cartridges place the black then comes the yellow second last is magenta 
and the last one is our kiln. You can remove the support if you have placed it. Now close this. Now close it. Plug in the power cable. Next step is to just check if the ink is installed properly or not. So click OK. So we can see everything is fine. Next step is to do the automatic print head cleaning so that we can start using our printer. Scroll ahead and click on the maintenance. Scroll down and click on the print head cleaning and press OK. Click on the start. So it's going to take around 3 minutes. Print head cleaning is done. Now click on the check. So this will print the nozzle check sheet. Let's check the print result. We can see all the inks has started to work. So we successfully unclogged the print head. If you see any missing segment in this area, that means this print head still needs one more cleaning. For that you have to go to the printer display panel. Click on the X for that and once you do that if you see all the lines are correct just select this option and now click on the home button so this way we can do the manual print head cleaning of this printer once you do that we are ready to use the printer normally so it should print like a new thanks for watching